on the fourth day of our mission, I think it was, um, I went outside the spacecraft to test the portable life support system, the backpack which contained all the oxygen and cooling and radio and all of that. Okay, Jamie, come on out. Okay. Taking pictures of everybody taking pictures. When Dave Scott, who is photographing this from the command module, said, hey, I just had a camera jam. It failed. Can I take five minutes to try and unjam the camera? And Jim McDivitt, who was the commander of the flight, said, okay, Dave, take five minutes. Rusty, don't move. So there I was with five minutes when Dave was busy, Jim was busy doing something, and I literally had nothing to do except just look at where I was. No sound, nobody was talking, completely silent. And here, 17,000 miles an hour going across the surface of the Earth, incredibly beautiful planet down below me. And I let, I decided this was the time when I really, my responsibility was simply to really let all of that come in. What was happening? What was going on? And so all of a sudden, here I am looking, looking at this planet below me and saying to myself, here I am, a little farm boy from New Jersey, and, uh, and yet here I am in space. So all of these questions just came flooding, flooding into my mind. I mean, what am I doing here? How did I get here? What does this mean? Who am I? What does it mean when I say I? I mean, this is, this is really a very special thing with life moving out from the Earth. And that, that's an amazing moment in the history of evolution. So, now all of that, I, I suppose, I, I went too far, because at that time, all I was doing was just opening up to the experience. It was afterward that I began to really realize that the questions which came to me at that moment had a lot more in them and the experience fed those questions much more deeply than I ever analyzed at the moment. I didn't come up with all sorts of conclusions. I was just trying to open up to the experience.